What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I want to test out the stabilization between the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So Super Steady is improved on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. They said they added some left and right rotational fixes, so an extra axis there basically on Super Steady. So let's see how much better it is than the Note 10 Plus. And we'll just do some regular stabilization tests too to see if it's improved at all on the S20 Ultra. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Here's the first test. This is the 4K 30 frames per second test. Just walking, handheld. I'm not using any kind of gimbals or stabilizers or anything. I just want to see what it's like. And from what I can see, there's not a huge difference in between the two. Let me know which one that you think looks better. You can see I'm kind of moving back and forth. Both of them are pretty much following with optical image stabilization. Let's go ahead and switch it over to Super Steady. All right, here we go on Super Steady. And they both look really good. I'm gonna purposely try to move left and right. There we go. See which one looks better there. But basically, when I'm walking straight, they both look really good. Can you tell a difference on the S20 Ultra? Let me know. All right, so still on super steady, but we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. You can see that I'm moving a little bit faster here, walking a little faster. And what I'm gonna do is when I hit this corner, if there's nobody here, I'm going to take a run. Let's do this. All right. Woo! Too hot for this today. Which one look better? Let's do a stair test. And we're gonna walk up the stairs. Okay. Just in case you need to film yourself going on a fire escape. Here we go. All right. But that's kind of pathetic. We need to make it faster. So let's make it quicker. Boom. Okay, this might be a silly test, but I'm just gonna jump up and down and see if this changes any with Super Steady and see what the improvements are when it just comes to something totally impractical. Ready? Wow. This is absolutely insane. I am jumping straight up and down and it's so stable. Wow, jeez. Okay, when it comes to the normal walking in 4K30, I don't see a huge difference, but it does look a little bit smoother. It looks less jittery on the S20 Ultra, but man, they are both pretty good. Dynamic range looks a little bit better though on the S20 Ultra. So let me know what you think about the improvements in stabilization. Is it worth upgrading to? I'm not sure about that, but I definitely do see an improvement in the super steady mode and just in general with the stabilization so that's nice to see so let me know if you think it's worth upgrading to and there will be ton more camera stuff coming up very soon with the s20 ultra make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that like button see you guys later